This is a short video to show you how to get uh, your school files when you're at home. Or if you're typing something at home that needs to go to school to get printed, how to load that back up onto the school computer. So probably if you're listening to this video, you already know how to get to the school website, but I usually uh, type Lac des Bois and that brings me quickly to the school website. And the uh, site that we want is on the main page. So this is a link to a program that connects your home computer to the school computer. It's called Webmail. So we're going to open Webmail here. And then we need to log into this because we're now accessing a school computer. And this is exactly the same login that you use when you're at school. So uh, teachers are slightly different, but students would type their first name with a period and their last name and then their password. And remember, our password is private, so you're not going to be seeing my password here. So this is exactly if you were sitting in the computer room, this is the same password you would type in the computer room to get in. And we'll log in to this site. And then this site comes up with uh, a lot of information about an email system that we don't use. So many of these buttons along here are about the email system. But what we're looking for is a program called WebDisk and it's got that globe. And if you hover over it, you can see that it'll tell you what it is. So we're going to click on that. And this opens you up to your school file. So Madame Beaudry has a lot of school files. Um, and in particular here, I'm in one of my folders, this folder here. Um, and I'm going to say I'm going to update this file here. So I'll click on it and it will always ask me whether I want to open it up. Um, so this is a little bit different than if you were at school. So it will um, you need to choose yes for that and your file will open up. So this is a file I'm working on for the English class that I teach and you can see that it's come from another computer and so I have to enable editing in uh, Microsoft Word to be able to use this file. So I'll enable editing So now I have my file open and say I want to change uh, my introduction piece here to just one question. So I'm deleting my other question and I want to um, make the changes that I want to do in here. Then I need to reload it back up to the school computer. And there's two steps to do that. You want to go up to, your, to File, Save As. And we have to save it on initially on our computer. And so usually what I do is I save it on the desktop and I update the name on it so I know which one I'm working on. So I'm going to call this one number six and save it to the desktop. Okay, so this is the updated one. Then I go back to WebDisk and I need to find the file to upload it back to the school. So I need to choose the file and remember I put it on the desktop so it'd be easy to find and we're going to look for the title of the file that we're looking for which is called paragraph layout 6. We're choosing that so here is an example of it. We're opening it and then what we need to do, the final step, is to upload it on the school computer. So we then click over here, Upload. And you can see down here that this upload was a success. So here in the action messages you see it was a success. And you see now the file is here. So when you get to school, now you'll be able to use, be able to print out this new file or to continue to work on it. And then it's really important when you're on any program that you log in, that you log out. So you want to go up here to where the little door is icon is, and you want to click on log out so that you can make sure that it's closed down. So you want to click on log out, and then you can exit. And when you get to school the next day, you should be able to find that file that you worked on at home. Uh, so give it a try.